So this video, we'll go over some lifters, figure out why there's quite a bit of wear in the M156 engines and M159. I got a whole bunch of lifters here. There's 32. We'll go through them, sort through them, see which lifter is bad, which one's good, and we can take a look at wear pattern. So I'm just going to go through all of these right now. I picked out some that I think already have good wear patterns in them, so we'll take a look at those too. The lifters that I picked out, uh, I'll have to show you and switch to a different lens so you can see why. Here we go. There is the line that uh, very consistent right there. It has stayed in that spot by looking at the shadows and the way that light hits it. So I'm suspecting this had a little bit of uh, stock hydraulic lifter where it wasn't spinning in place and it's important for hydraulic lifters to spin So I've got the measurements, let's take a look at it together. Let's switch to a different lens. This, this is where the lobe is spinning. And the way that it's spinning is it's rotating, let's say, in and out. Okay, and this is the lobe up top, underneath it, it's hitting that hydraulic lifter. So where the lobe and the camshaft is spinning on the y-axis, well, really spinning on the x-axis, you have the lifter that is spinning on the y-axis because it's not flat. And what's happening is that you should get even wear on that lifter. So as this is spinning, you have this lifter that is rotating like so. So what happens is if it's spinning more, there's more wear, and if it's spinning less, um, if it's stuck, let's say, there should be less wear. There's just less friction. So these are the measurements that I've got. Let's back up here a little bit. You got that new one. So you can see this is the one that uh, is quite good. The reflection is really uniform and the light bounces perfectly back. And that's here. This is the one that I suspected was stuck and you could already see the light bounces back, there's a bit of a line. So I suspect this lifter was stuck at one point in time. Right there. Right there, there you go. So let's put this guy in the middle. So I mentioned spinning means more wear, less spin, little wear. This, these are our numbers, 1.3782 thou for the brand new one. So of course the ones that are used, it has 60,000 kilometers. They have less uh, material left. So the one that is spinning less, so the spin, the down that less spin, down arrow spin, I've got 1.3771, which is 0 0.0011 of an inch worn. If you look at the one that's spinning more, it's of course worn more, 0 0.0022 of an inch worn. 
you got 1.3760 uh, thou of an inch on the one that's spinning a lot. So this just kind of proves that if a lifter is stuck, which according to this, it does happen, that's where you're going to have issues with your camshaft. So we'll move on to a bit of an explanation on how that works. And I'm going to switch over to a different lens, I believe. All right, here you go. This is what hypothetically it would look like um, when your camshaft is spinning. What you have is the lobes having a little bit of friction there, but that's of course prevented by oil. So as you can see, it's a fairly high lift with this much duration. Uh, it's pretty aggressive. So then what happens is if you are at your power band and you're putting in 460 something pound feet of torque, this sharp edge will contact this at a stronger force that it will affect that metal and indent that in. To compound that effect is if this lifter, this is actually the good lifter, if this lifter is stuck and this keeps on hitting that lifter at the same spot over and over again when you're in that power band, there's going to be increased wear in this lifter. When that lifter collapses and there's a sharp edge, instead of friction, what you have is a mechanical striking force. And this lifter will start to eat away at that camshaft. So what you will see is a camshaft that's eaten away. Right there, actually the next one will be probably better. That's probably way better to see. So stuck lifters, they will eat your camshaft lobe. I hope this video helps. Please comment, subscribe, like the video. If you have any questions about this, um, do ask away. Check us out at Instagram, 63everything. Those camshaft plates should be coming soon, so just a little patience. Take care, guys.